Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week 6 of WWC. Chicago Charizard's taking on Nikki and the Houston High Dragons. Nikki coming off of his first win last week. Yes, I know, I got the team builder up. Where's the dock? What do you think happened? I played the match already, and I'm just now getting to recording the team builder. So, match has already been played. Stats already updated. I can't tell you, can't show you the doc. That's 100% my fault. I really, why is the schedule tab? Oh yeah, because I was messing with the schedule. Um, away schedule, thank you. Schedule tab was still up on the WWC. Da -da 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 -da. So where's my team? Okay, so the team I'm rocking with here. Megazard X, Cartana, Alolan Ninetales, Umbreon, Torn T, not Torn T, Torn I. Jellicent, Kangaskhan, Gliscor, Alakazam, Nidoking, Vikavolt, Scrafty. That's the 12 I'm rocking with. Yes, 12, because WWC, we're drafting 12 boys. Um, Just a side note, the match tomorrow, you're going to see a different version of me. You're going to see the angry, depressed, upset guy that's been losing a lot lately. That's the last time you're going to see him, I promise. Well, I'm promising to try and make sure that's the last time you see him. New me doesn't care too much just wants to enjoy the game that's what i need to do is i need to enjoy this and then you guys will enjoy it if i'm sad and losing and miserable you guys aren't gonna enjoy that i just gotta be positive and keep it keep that positive energy flowing so tomorrow's the last you'll see of him i hope so nikki has a pretty good team actually um started off really terrible but he Put some pieces together on this team and it's really actually come together very nicely uh mega venusaur tapu fini mimikyu dublade minior mudsdale zangus halucha kiram standard kiram uh darmanitan haunch pro and togi d um as i was doing this i figured okay venusaur's coming finny's coming mimikyu's coming mudsdale's coming i think halucha is coming and I went with um, Kiram coming. Those are the six that I thought. So we'll see if those are the six he brings um, for the match tomorrow. Um, if Dublade comes, I can handle it. Dublade just does not seem to have a good matchup versus me. Um, Darmanitan has a better matchup than Dublade, in my opinion. Togi D could come, um, especially if it's Air Balloon Togi D, because it can come. Be Scarf, be faster than um, Charizard, nuzzle me, paralyze me, and then Charizard's crippled. That sort of thing. And I can't EQ. That sort of thing. Um, Venusaur and Mim are just going to be... or not Mim. Venusaur and Finny are just going to be stupid bulk to deal with. Um, and both of them resist Charizard. Um, pretty hard. However, I do see two mons on my team that absolutely just obliterate Nikki's entire team like he has very little very very little switches in for them the first being Vikavolt Vikavolt with the e-belt um, can just put in so much work EV spreads a little um, there I am speed creeping a minimally invested and i say minimally invested because i don't think he would invest speed other than to maybe creep like a semi-creeped vikavolt on his mudsdale so i wanted to make sure i was absolutely faster than his vikavolt or than his mudsdale put in a little bit uh more um speed than i wanted to but that's where i needed um max special attack modest nature to the rest going into just a hair of bulk Volt Switch, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, and Hidden Power Ground. His best switches into Vikavolt are going to be Darmanitan or. Yeah. Darmanitan or um, Mudsdale. It's really all about he could bring in. Venusaur could come in, but Venusaur is not going to want to take multiple hits from this thing. Um, unless it's Synthesis and I have my Calyx wrong, this Vikavolt should run through his team. Volt Switch will take down Finny, it'll take down Honchkrow if that thing decides it's coming. Minior won't take two. Alucha won't take more than um, 
won't take two. Bug Buzz should rip through um, Haunch Pro if it decides to come as well. Bug Buzz should rip through Venusaur um, extremely hard. <coughs> Energy Ball is to take down the Darmana, or not the Darmanitan. The, if I don't see Darmanitan and see Mudsdale, it's E-Ball on the Switch because Mudsdale will not take two E-Balls from this thing. This thing has 427 special attack as it sits. Not a lot can really take hits from that. And then Hidden Power Ground is for Darmanitan, if Darmanitan is coming for some reason um, as the check. Then a Hidden Power Ground on the Switch, and then I'm forced to get out because Darmanitan will kill me with a Flare Blitz. But this, this set, this four Expert Belt, should run through anything he brings. Um, except Air Ballooned, Lightning Rod, Token Amaro. The other Mon that should run through his team is this Nidoking. This Nidoking is fast enough to outpace... Um, oh, what's it? Fast enough to outpace? Why did I build Nidoking? This way. I think it's going faster than Mimikyu. Um, no, because I was scarfed. Uh, faster than a scarfed Finny, I think, if Finny decided to come scarfed, or I was faster than, faster than Curum with my scarf, unless he scarfed Curum. I think that's where I went with this, something like that. Um, but I am scarfed, um, with speed, max special attack as well, and then a little bit into bulk. Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Shadow Ball are the four that I have here. Sludge Wave just blows through his team. Venusaur, while it's a neutral hit, won't appreciate it. Finny will die, should die to a Sheer Force Sludge Wave. Mimikyu, once its disguise is broken, will die to a Sheer Force Sludge Wave. Um, I just don't see Minior coming, um, but Ice Beam will two shot. It should two shot, potentially three. It might be a three shot, but what can Minior really do back to me? Except the HP ground me. Mudsdale does not take ice beams from this thing. Zangoose just isn't going to enjoy getting hit by this multiple times. Um, ice beam and sludge wave will two shot. Um, will two shot the uh, Alucha. Um, Ice Beam will two-shot Kiram. Darmanitan doesn't take an Earth Power. Launch Crow doesn't take an Ice Beam. Togi D does not appreciate Earth Power unless it's Air Ballooned. And Dewblade doesn't take EP Shadow Ball from this thing because um, Dewblade has terrible spit F. I know from using it over an EPA. The only thing is if I get stuck um, in Scarf Sludge Wave, if he brings Dewblade, I have to be careful about that because um, Scarfing myself into Sludge Wave would allow Dewblade a free um, Swords Dance, and that is not good. Alola Nine Tails puts in a lot of work as well. I am Specs Tails. Um, 321 puts me faster than Darmanitan. Um, unless it's Scarf Darm. Um, but Blizzard, Moonblast, Aurora Veil, Freeze Draft, it can set up Veil, it just makes Vigavolt and Neo King even better, um, sitting behind the Veil, reducing his hits. Moonblast will hurt the Honchkrow and the, um, Kyurem and the Halucha. Blizzard will do decent damage to, uh, Minior, it'll take down the Mudsdale. It'll do decent damage to Venusaur if I need to do the chip, and Freeze Dry will do the damage needed to um, Tapu Fini. Um, this, that's how this thing hits Tapu Fini. Um, oh my god. I played this match. Look at right here. I was 2-5-2 defense. 
I had no special attack investment. I wonder if that caused any issues tomorrow. You'll have to check out and see what happened with Lola Ninetales and uh, being max defense instead of max special attack. That's something I totally missed. The front office missed it too. Wow. How did we miss that? Uh, next up we have Life Orb Jellicent. Um, Life Orb Jellicent with Water Absorb should stop the Feeny from freely firing off water moves if it needs to hit Charizard with them. Granted, it'll probably just Moonblast. Sludge Wave, for the same reason Needle King is carrying Sludge Wave, um, Life Orb Sludge Wave from Jellicent is going to put in a lot of work versus his team. Hydro will take care of Darmanitan. Shadow Ball is to hit the Venusaur when it switches in because Venusaur is obviously his best check to this outside of Togi D. Um, and then recover, so I can recover up and heal off some of that life orb damage once Finny goes down and stops feeding me water type moves if I can get Nikki to feed it water type moves. Um, bulky, special um, attacker, we're modest again, um, and basically as bulky as we can get without. Uh, sorry, without having any attack investment. Gliscor come in with Toxic Orb, Defog Knockoff, Earthquake, and P-Jab. Poison Heal, we are the Bulky Sweeper. Um, oh, of course, my mom's gone. Mom. Hang on. Okay. Sorry about that, my mom was calling because she's grocery shopping and she didn't know what tea I needed to get because I drink tea in the morning to wake myself up type of thing. Um, caffeine, you know, because trying to avoid pop. So sorry about that. Um, anyways, we are this bulky sweeper set that it shows here. I do like, um, this is one of the few showdown sets that I do like using for EV spreads is the bulky. Sorry, I got something in my eye now too. This bulky... Um, bulky sweeper um max special attack it speed creeps for me just enough and yeah this thing basically comes in it knocks off if du blade comes in for some reason or comes for some reason i knock off its eviolite knock off will hurt the mimic and take away its life or knock off will hurt the finny take away its um leftovers if it tries to switch in knock off will take out the no, the seal trigger on Halucha before that does, so that's an issue. Kiram will lose its specs or its scarf. Darn won't be coming in on this thing. Um, Mudsdale will lose its lefties or whatever it's carrying. Um, Earthquake should hit Venusaur hard enough that I can beat it. Um, Two-shot it with EQ. Poison Jab for Mimikyu for um, Feeny. Um, once the Finny's knocked off, I have no reason not to P-Jab um, the Finny switch every time. Um, but yeah, just pretty standard glide score for me. And finally, Megazard. So the first four I definitely was planning on bringing. Then I decided, okay, glide score looks okay, but I still needed a last Mon. I didn't know if I was going to bring Zard or not. Um, Zard kind of has a mixed match. Like, Earthquake will obliterate Dewblade. Um, plus one, plus two Earthquakes will obliterate Mega Venusaur, Togi D, unless it's got Air Balloon, um, and Darm, all will not take those. D-Claw will wipe the floor with Curum, um, and Flare Blitz will take down Mim and, uh, the biggest issue is just Mudsdale getting Stamina Boosts, and of course, Tapu Fini. So once Finny goes down, I should be able to get Zard in and just sweep, but not 100% certain. We're running enough speed to handle, I believe it's Darm. If I remember correctly, I'm speed to beat Darm. No, I'm speed to beat Mim, so I automatically, um, at base, I can beat Mimikyu. 
and hit it first, unless it shadow snakes me. So that's going to be it for this week's. Um, I did turn my mic back on, right? Yes, that's going to be it for this week's team builder for Charizards versus Houston Hydreigons. And Nikki, I'm sorry, I just realized I didn't update the layout and put your logo on. I've had the logo off the entire time. My bad. Um, we'll see if we can pick up the W. Take a look tomorrow. We're sitting at two and three right now, so getting back to 500 would be great. But yeah, um, check that out tomorrow. See you guys in the next video. Links in the description down below. Twitch, Discord. Um, Discord's the easiest way to get connected to WWC or any other server that I'm in and hang out with me. Twitch, I'm going to get back up and rolling eventually. So, we'll see. Now I'm going to get out of here.